Yup, right back at another video, man. We got uh, Jimmy Butler goes undercover on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, man. Hey, but look, uh, y'all know we came here to do, man. Y'all know we didn't come here to do, man. We came here to get straight to the point. What we did come to do, man, is all that other stuff, man. That being said, man, let's get right to the video. This is Jimmy Butler, and I'm going undercover on the internet. This is actually me. I just, I, this, this, this grammar is just incredible to me. First up, Twitter. One of the coolest things about Jimmy Butler in the bubble is that he didn't invite any family members or friends, stating it's a business trip. Rightfully so. I love that. I love that I'm here to work. Um, I love my family. Everybody knows it. I want to be around them as much as possible. But I think three months away for the ultimate goal of being a championship, it was the right mindset to have. We didn't reach our goal, which really angers me even more. But uh, it's a business trip. I'm here to work. You know, you have to sacrifice some things. And that's one thing that I knew I had to sacrifice to be locked in to give us the best chance of winning a championship. Hey, it's all about Jimmy them Bucket sacrifices, man. Even get the nickname Jimmy Buckets. On the Bulls. So many grammatical errors in that, by the way. But moving past that. It's actually weird. Stacy King gave me that nickname easily before I ever scored a basket in the NBA. So the nickname never really made sense. And then I started to score a little bit and it started to come into its own. But Stacy King gave me that in 2011 when I barely played because Tibbs never wanted to play me. And now I guess I, I score pretty decently. So that's how Jimmy Butler even get the nickname Jimmy Bucket. Seriously. It's actually me. YouTube, how Jimmy become a great player from a 30th pick? What is it, LeBron and me in the game five of the finals? Literally, like it sounds so cliche, but hard work and dedication. I like to think that I work really, really hard every day and I do a lot of stuff that people don't wanna do, especially on the basketball court, whether it be playing hard every possession or starting the game off just defense or passing the ball whatever my team asks of me to do that's what i've done so from 30th pick to where i am now i'm proud of that i love where i'm at i'm only going to continue to get better submit more twitter hey jimmy what did you make from the bubble coffee shop what did i make i think i made about i'm not going to tell you the exact number somewhere in between one dollar and like six thousand dollars somewhere in between there is about the amount of money I made, but I learned to do cappuccinos, lattes, obviously pour overs, Chemexes, all of that good stuff. I really thought that I could dive into being a coffee connoisseur and one day open my own coffee shop. So I learned how to run a business out of a hotel room and how to make all the different types of coffee. Replied, I have to say that my number one customer, it was Goran. Dragic the dragon. It doesn't really count. He's the only person that never paid for a single cup of Big Face coffee. And the only reason why, because he knew how to get me. He would come into the room, he'd be like, hey, how you feeling today? How's your body? Did you watch soccer last night? Oh yeah, Neymar is so good, so good. And then he'd throw in like, yo, let me get a cappuccino. And then he'd just keep going. So I thought I figured it out, but he knew how to get me to get to talking. He buttered me up a little bit. Gorns, he's he's in debt to me. Instagram. <laughs> I thought he had debt to me. Off, let's talk that about dog. It's Tyler in a do rag. That's Tyler Hero for you. Jimmy, real talk though. Use the comma. Thank you for that. How good of a coach is Eric Spolster? Thanks and good luck on winning out. I got so much respect and love for Coach Spo. He is an incredible, phenomenal, all of those words, great coach. Because he really, really, really believes in his players. He empowers us to do whatever we can and want to do on the floor as long as we're playing hard and we're playing together. He just wants to win, man, and he works so hard. He's always studying. He's always in communication. That shit, the way y'all see it, I don't know, man. All the players all the way down the line, he just always give you this. And sometimes it's not even a, a speech. It could be a look. And it's like, you know what, man, I'm running through a wall for this guy. So, man, suppose he's obviously a Hall of Fame coach, but every day he just shows me something new. Max Holloway certainly believes he has done enough to begin a second era as the UFC featherweight champ. More YouTube. Who's the funniest player on the team? We got a lot of jokesters. I'm going to go with Gorn. And the reason I think Gorn is so funny is because when he doesn't want to do something, he always acts like he doesn't understand English, but he speaks perfect English. So it's like when you're playing a, a game like cards or something, 
and he know that he's cheating, he'll play and then be like, oh, didn't know, don't understand. And we're like, Gorn, you just cheated. We, we know that. Anytime he does that, it is the absolute funniest thing in the world to me. So that award goes to Gorn, my brate. Replied, more Instagram. Is Tyler in the gym at 4 a.m.? If he's not, then he's not working hard. He is in the gym at 4 a.m. But even if you're not in the gym at 4 a.m., that does not mean you're not working hard. They both wake up at five o'clock to go get him some buckets. It's a fight time about the nigga. Get your... <laughs> He's talking about get your sleep. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a mess of the wide open layers, so what the hell? Hell no. He's a hard worker. I respect him for that. Love him for that. He just wants to get better. He wants to compete. He wants to have fun. And more than anything, he wants to win. I got to say to everybody, Tyler's not even my favorite hero. His little brother, Miles, is. That's my guy. So, Miles, know that I miss you, brother. More Twitter. Have we gotten context for the Jimmy Butler throwing paper away gif? L-M-F-A-O-O -O question mark. What was the paper? The paper was a stat sheet. And this was for sure when I was in Minnesota. I got my guy, Marcus George's Hunt, next to me. I remember, I, I feel like it was Cat. He was like one rebound or one assist away from a triple-double. He's easily going to get this. So I don't even know why I'm looking at it. Crumble it up, throw it in the air. And that's where that came from. It's actually me, TikTok. Or how I say it, Tiki Tok. Jimmy out here drowning in sunscreen. I remember this, I was singing Luke Combs. Yes, I put on way too much sunscreen. And yes, I have on a life jacket, I should. Yes, I do. Can't swim? Bro, you're black. You don't need no damn sunscreen, bro. You're black. You don't need sunscreen, bro. But do what you're gonna do. And I do not want to be sunburned. So that's why I got on so much sunscreen. Leave me alone. Next, Wikipedia. Personal life. Butler is a fan of country music and was featured in the music video of the country song Light It Up by Luke Bryan. Yeah, Luke's a really great friend of mine. A really good buddy. And he just came up with the idea of putting me in a music video i absolutely love the idea because now i could call myself a video vixen which i would call myself even if i wasn't in a video but i do love country music i am in a music video i am a video vixen butler was not heavily recruited coming out of high school and chose to attend tyler junior college in tyler texas i was not and i think i still use that as a chip on my shoulder because I feel like nobody thought I was good enough to play at even a minor division one. Coach Mark was up at TJC. He took a chance on me. I'm very grateful for that. And at TJC is when I became a decent basketball player. Juco's the way to go. More Twitter. Jimmy Butler. Never give up. No tattoos. Gotta have one somewhere. I do not. I do not have any tattoos. I was told uh, if I got tattoos, I would get my ass beat, truthfully. So I never got tattoos. I was also told if I wanted to get my ears pierced, then I had to be afforded to wear real diamonds. So as soon as I could afford to get real diamonds, I would've got my ears pierced. No tattoos. I hope that I get my daughter's name tattooed on me one day, but I highly doubt that that happens. Posted. I decided to tweet because football is back. It's me pretending to be a footballer slash soccer player. What club would you want to play for? I would definitely have to say PSG. I think if I'm alongside Mbappe, the greatest ever do it in name I don't know, none of this. I feel like they're gonna make me look like I really know what I'm doing out there on the pitch. Be a battle. I mean, me and Neymar are going head to head for who's gonna wear 10. I don't know, but PSG, that's the way I'm going. Jimmy Butler, can you give us the drop on what type of wine you drink? A lot of different types of wine. Uh, I really enjoy wine. I love the conversations that you have with so many different people over wine. But my favorite, which was the first one that I had back in 2013 with Mark Wahlberg, is uh, Sesakaya 2010. I stick by that. I love Sesakaya. I love Italy. And um, it was the first one that I got the opportunity to drink, and I, I don't stray from it too often. I have a, a lot of different tastes, but I always go back to Sesakaya 2010 in the end. Boom. More YouTube. Jimmy, who is the GOAT to you? If we're talking about sports, we're talking about GOATs, I'm picking Neymar. As everybody knows, I don't even like to talk about basketball. I think I'm a footballer now. So my GOAT, Neymar Jr. Cora. What will the hell is this? Should do for Jimmy Butler's legacy? A lot. I think that's the reason that anybody plays this game is to win a championship. For my legacy, I think it'd be a 
a big part of it on the floor. That's what be my legacy. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. I gotta be remembered for doing more than just on the floor. So I think my legacy will be way more than on the floor. We'll take it to off the floor. Would Jimmy Butler and James Harden play well together? I think so. James is a great player. Um, he does so many things well on the basketball floor. And when you put really good basketball players together, they always find out a way to win. Whether you say their games don't fit each other, nah, I don't believe in that. I believe he's a winner. He wants to win a championship. If we were to end up playing together, uh, we make it work and we find a way to win. Back to YouTube. Is Justin Bieber his new thing? What about his obsession with Taylor Swift? I love music as a whole. I think Justin Bieber's Purpose album, it's like if there was a thing that's perfect, I think that album is that. Um, I'm a huge fan of it. Uh, I like him too as a person. Taylor Swift can do no wrong. I mean, it's Taylor Swift, so you just, just leave that there. What is a hobby you want to learn but haven't gotten into yet? Easy. I already have the vocal ability. I got the vocal cords I can sing. I just need to learn how to play the piano. Maybe the guitar. Now nah, I'm gonna go with piano. Yeah, piano. I figure out this piano thing and then uh, keep my vocals at all time high. Probably see me next to Justin Bieber and Taylor Swift on the pop chart. Thanks for your question, guys. I'm signing off the internet. I will see you next time. Y'all be smooth, be, yeah, fuck. Y'all be smooth, be easy, man. Keep y'all head up, man. I love y'all.